Hello folks, welcome along to another video from Gun Dog and Fly and uh, today I'm on my way to the second day of the Irish Spring Angling Fair down in Mooncoin, South Kilkenny and um, yesterday was the first day I was there, I was tying some flies, uh, did a talk on dry fly fishing and um, doing the same thing today and it was a fantastic event for an, in an, in an inaugural event and um, there was big crowds there and there was a lot of facilities laid on particularly for kids they could catch a fish and see what it's like to tie a fly all sort of stuff like that there was a lot of trade stands there um, met a lot of people who uh, I, I'd only known previously through the channel they'd contacted me through the channel and then they all came up to say hello and it was fantastic so um, be sure to stay with me for this one it's going to be interesting Right folks, we just arrived here at the Irish Spring Angling Fair Day 2. Um, looking good for Day 2, Ned, yesterday. Yeah. This is Ned Maher, by the way, who's the, the proprietor here and the organiser of this fantastic new event. And uh, yesterday was the first day and went really well. Big crowds here and plenty of kids, Ned. Plenty of kids around and they were really enjoying getting lessons there on the fly casting lessons on the small lake. And yeah. They're all catching a few fish and you see the delight in their faces, you know. Yeah, it's fantastic. Great, so that's, it's all about the future, Ned. Yeah, yeah, Try absolutely. and get the kids in. Yeah. Um, this event, Ned, was it your idea originally or how did it yeah, transpire? Yeah, look, the idea is there with a couple of years and I always thought that the ideal location for an angling show was actually to have it where you have the water available for yeah. demonstrations and, and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's absolutely fantastic, Ned. It was really great here yesterday, and the, uh, the trade stands did really well. As, yeah, it was very busy well, there all day, you know. Yeah. It was, everyone yeah. seemed, it was happy, and, and, and uh, yeah, it was a, a good response. Yeah. So you have another busy day ahead, Ned, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully so we'll have another busy day Many today. congratulations on the great event, and hopefully it'll be um, annual. Thanks hopefully very much, happen. George. That's Thank you, Ned. We'll Thanks. Make it an Get to event. it, Ned. Okay. All right. Just a little overview of... The fishery here. People enjoying themselves. Some form of demonstration going on over there. Excellent facility here for anybody who wants to learn how to fly fish. here at the Piscari fly stand and as you can see an Aladdin's cave for the fly angler. That's Mark. Say hello Mark. Hello well, guys, how's things? Good. And um, this is like um, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop here. And now I'm going to be joined by the man himself here, Peter Driver, who's um, again the proprietor of Piscari Fly. And uh, just give me a second here to steady my camera and we'll have a few words with Peter. Right Peter, George, what? How, are going? how are you keeping? Good, good to see you again. Yeah, great. great to be back at shows. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Beating fantastic. Everyone, having a bit yeah. of a chat. Yeah, mighty crack. Yeah, absolutely. You have a fantastic stand here, Peter. That's not too bad, no, George, yeah. yeah. You yeah. have anything and everything. There's something for everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's great. How did it go it yesterday for you? Great day. Great day. Yeah, yeah good stuff. Day yeah, a lot. Well, what's, what's the big sellers? Ah, bits of everything, George. Bit of All kinds. Bit of, bit of fly time, bit of fly fishing. Right. Bit of spinning gear, some clothing. Yeah. It's a good time of the year for show. Lads are... Yeah. 
at the fishing now. Of course the fishing they are, yeah. now, they're realizing what we're missing and yeah. what we need. Yeah, yeah. You know the kind yeah, of way they're coming about. here, let's come here with their lists and just know yeah. exactly what they're yeah. Get a bargain and go home. Happy Great stuff. So everyone seemed to the feedback was phenomenal yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Last night we talked to a lot of punters here, talking to a lot of traders. Mm. Everyone said, What a venue. Great. You know, the venue makes it the lake. Yeah. The pro- need, like, you know, put yeah. such an effort into it. Um easy parking, yeah. easy access, mm. so much to see and do. You had seminars going on yeah. in, the, in the main hall in the main room. You had demonstrations all over the lake, like there was crowds of forty or fifty yeah. gathering around people doing demonstrations Lovely. and stuff. So it was absolutely yeah. fantastic, you know. I was yeah, talking to Ned there as well and he was saying um, about the, the stuff organised for the kids. I think that's yeah, just, brilliant I think that's phenomenal. Here. One of one of our young young um, customers as yeah. you I've done a bit of coaching last year. He came down yesterday, done a little bit of uh, casting clinic with um, Gaia. Lovely. And he got a certificate and a badge. And oh, he magic. went home beaming. Yeah, that's, that's magic. That's what it's all about. That's what the future, isn't it? It's that's all, it's about, all about, about the future. That's great when these shows Fantastic. can give them opportunities. To, great stuff, yeah, Peter. So well, thanks great. very much for taking the time. I know you're very busy here this morning. Set up now. Didn't expect to be crowed again today. So. Great stuff, yeah. Peter. Good to see right. you again. Likewise, George. Take thanks. care. Take care. Right. right, folks. I'm here with um, Stuart Wiley, all the way from Belfast. And uh, Irish, what is it? Pike flying pike on the fly guide. Pike, pike on the fly guide. Yep. It's taken off massively in recent years, it hasn't has, it? It has. It's just What's grown the attraction? and grown. It's it's because you can do it most of the year. Um, it's it's great action. Uh, if you fish on poppers, yeah, you can get you can get some great sport, and it's visual. They're surface flies, so, right? Yeah, yeah. They well, we call them flies. Do you, yeah, still, yeah. you call them flies? I would call them flies. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you mightn't do it. <laughs> right. But, but um, and the and the fight out of them are absolutely really? like second to none. Really? Second, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And where do you do all this? Lock Iron. Lock Iron. Yeah, a guide on Lock Iron, on Lower Iron and Upper Iron, depending on what time of year. Right. It is. Right. Um, May I'll be on Lower Iron because um, all the bait fish, all the course fish. We'll head down in the lower end of spawn, and obviously the, the pike go after them. Yeah, so yeah. I go after the pike there. I caught a couple of pike, but more by action, action and, yeah, and design. Yeah. When I'd be many years ago, and they spin for salmon. Yeah, you'll find that'll but happen too. Yeah, but I've but never caught them. I've never specifically caught, went after yeah, them. You know, without them. and even the trout boys will, and will often catch pike on the on the smallest of trout flies Aye. because the pike still thinks. Obviously, when it's small, yeah. it still has to feed on something small. Yeah, so yeah. it'll still think, right. no matter what size it is. Yeah. That it'll take a fly off the surface. Well, I'm just looking here. Um, this, for instance, it's massive. Yeah. It's, it's got a lot of movement in the water. I loads and loads of movement. And that, is that yeah. the main attractor for pike? It is. It is. For someone who's never done it now. But yeah, that's what you want to get. And you want to create the bulk in the head so that the tail will move. Right. I always, I always would have it like, let me see one that's really bulky. This one here. Aye. That would be called a bulkhead. So if you so if you take um, a, I'm a rock in a river, the way the flow yeah it breaks out the both sides and yeah. breaks it yeah. and then it's calm yeah in the, in the center yeah yep yep I'm it well it'll be calm in here and the and the tail will be moving right just like right what's I'm in that wee tank and that's what you're trying to create when you're tying them um, what size do these pike go up to typically they can go up 30 30 odd pounds oh, they're big fish yeah yeah. Oh, it's great on a fly rod. I can even, imagine, yeah. Even, even fish of seven, eight, nine, ten pound on yeah, a fly be good fun. Uh, Yeah, yeah, it's great. Let's give it a try sometime. You shoot, you shoot. I'll take you out. Ex- I'll and I take you shoot and snipe. Brilliant. That's a fair thing. That's a deal, isn't it? All That's right, deal, good stuff. Cheers. And right beside short here, I have my own little stand where I'm tying some flies, and um, I'll be doing a little talk later on on dry fly fishing. Well, folks, this here is David Collins, and he's from County Cork. And uh, he's been tying, I've just been looking at some of his fantastic salmon flies, and these are sea trout flies, David, are they? Yeah. They're absolutely beautiful, and your brooch, lovely. How's the salmon fishing been on the black water these times? Yeah, I the take sal- it it's the black water you're fishing on. It's the black water on the field I do most of my fishing on. Right. Um, on the black water at the moment, it's quite good. There's quite a good few fish coming up in the last couple of weeks. Right. Uh, the field is quite the same, you know, a lot of fish coming up in the field as well. Is there? It's going to be quiet at the moment, but we're expecting more in the next yeah. few weeks. What's so the best time of the year generally on the black water for salmon? Well, in my opinion, for me, I found May on. You know, May on. Yeah, May on would be fantastic fishing. Yeah, like, you know. yeah. We used to always, uh, what we used to always love to see was an August flood, a harvest flood. We used to call it. Yeah, that was on the shore yeah. now. And you get a lot of fish come in on a harvest flood, but yeah. is that still the case? Oh, I think it would be. It would still be the case. Yeah. You know, I think the summer fishing with small flies is fantastic, even though right. the size fourteen. Really, that know? small. That's we great. Do, we do uh, two flies at times, you know. Yeah. On the point, we could have a twelve, and on the top, we'd have a fourteen. Lovely. And. Uh, 
I find a lot of my fish are taken on the 14 on the top. Really? That small? Mm. Even smaller. So you can catch them on trout flies then, potentially? Even size 16, I've caught them on. Brilliant. So you're Absolutely talking brilliant. very, very small that's, flies. That's, you know? that's lovely. Um, the field, I've never fished the field. That's in mostly Kerry, yeah, is it? Yeah, the field Kerry is only in Kerry. It's um, catch and release now for the last couple of years. Good. And it's had a huge impact on it. Yeah, there's a good lot of fish coming in there. Oh, yeah, since they made a catch and release, you know, we've had a lot of fish coming up the field. Like, so Great. Fantastic sport. I mean, even right. at the start of the month, we had... Um, we had we had a fish, two fish on Paddy's Day on Patrick's Day. Right. And we had a, a brother of mine had four fish there two weeks back in mm. one day. So Lovely, all on fly. Fish, all on fly. Fantastic. And is it a fly only water, or can you use no, other methods? No, you can spin as well, but it yeah. is catch and release, so you know you're using barbless hooks. Barbless single hook, you know, is it? For the safety of the fish, obviously. Ah, lovely. That's great. You know. Well, thanks very much, Dave, for no, taking the time to have a chat with us and have a great yeah, day at the fair. That. Thank thanks you. Brilliant. Have a good right. time yourself. Right. Just come to this stand here, never met this man before, uh, Stefan Jones, he just told me he, his name and a uh, fellow Celt from Wales. Exactly, just across the sea. Just and um, fishtravel.co.uk, we exactly. take you there, what, what's it, tell us what it's all about. So basically it's a, it's a fishing holiday company, uh, so specialising in fly fishing holidays across the world. Lovely. So it doesn't matter, salt water, fresh water. Do you, discount, do you do discounts for people who have YouTube channels? Uh, all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Where, uh, seriously, um, anywhere in the world or is there particular no, places you I, emphasize? I tend to specialise in South America, but to be honest, no, it could be Iceland, Alaska, Canada, New Zealand, oh, a, a, anywhere and everywhere. And all if the species. fish swims, we'll take you there. And every kind of species. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. definitely. But it, it tends to specialise again in uh, yeah, uh, in fly fishing. But we do have some blue water stuff as well, right. so some of the trolling and stuff. But yeah. And do you do trips to Ireland? No. It's about no, time you started. No, exactly. I don't want to tell any, everybody about the secrets <laughs> over here. I want to keep it for myself. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, how's the fair been for you so far? Have really you enjoyed it? Good. Yesterday was great. It was just a, a constant flow of people all day. But honestly, it's just nice to be back kind of Lovely. seeing everybody and the camaraderie and Great. just the networking as well it's uh, no, good, good to be back good fantastic be back. and the Irish always good hospitality of That's course right. we're, we're known worldwide for it definitely right. definitely thanks Maybe very much a bit too much hospitality last night but it was very good <laughs> thanks for taking the time absolute pleasure Cheers. Thank have you. a great now folks another well-known personality from fishing here in Ireland and Hi. this is Glenda Powell how are you Glenda? good morning George I'm very well second yeah. day at the show here eh how are things going for you yeah, here yeah very good it's been a yeah. lovely show yesterday great I really enjoyed it and um, tell me how did you get on yourself did you yeah I was, tying, I was tying some flies I did a talk on dry fly uh, in there which I'll be doing again later yes. on um, what exactly have you been doing so well apart from catching up with a lot of people that I haven't seen for a very long uh -huh. time because of course with the pandemic yeah it's just nice to be back at shows and things isn't it of course it is and to be able to meet people again yeah. so so we have a stand inside so we're here to promote what we do so we also have um an online magazine which we sell it's called fish live learn with glenda powell uh -huh. um of course I, i'm here to do cast and demonstrations as well so Great. each morning i have a slot where i'm talking about skagit lines and skagit heads and you know, it can be a little bit confusing for some people george of course I've... i mean like it's fine for us because we're in the industry and yeah. and we know what they're about but I mean, even things like getting your head on the right way around, you know, yeah, and yeah, you can yeah. put it on backwards if you don't course, know what yeah, you're Of course, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, and, and like that, it's just to try and, you know, help out the kids and, and to make sure that, that, that everything's fine. Yeah, And, and also Ned's a very, very good friend of mine, so this yeah. is a great little show to be at. And, absolutely, and let's yeah. hope it uh, continues into the future. I hope so, yeah, I hope great. so too. Great, good to see you, Glenda. And you too, thank you. Thanks for taking the time to talk no, to me. No, you're welcome, thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Right, folks, I'm joined here now by Jimmy, the great Jimmy Turtle, and his fantastic array of flies, and his granddaughter, Aoife. 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 How are things going at the show for you, Jimmy? Very good, George. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, yeah. Good day yesterday, actually, so yeah. hopefully today. Great. You have some array of flies here, Jimmy. Um, I've been down here a long time now, George, Same as, as myself, you know, Jimmy. Same you know, as myself. How long have you been time been flies now? Probably, I suppose about 30 years now, actually. Oh, I beat selling. you. Yeah. I beat you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I might be as good, but I yeah. beat you. I know, you're every bit as good, don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's been a great show so far, yeah, hasn't it? Great show, yeah, very, Not very good. Great. What I really like about the show is the the emphasis is put on bringing in the, the kids, the new generation, exactly, into the yeah. sport. And there's something here for all the anglers, pike, yeah. sea fishing, fly fishing, yeah. everything. Fantastic. You know, it's brilliant. Now, yeah. And it's fishing. Because it's so it's easy amazing. for kids now to just, yeah. um, let's say, they find their phone, they're on their phone all the time. Oh, yeah. That's where they find all their yeah. entertainment. Yeah. And and like it's, you can see there's loads and loads of small young kids here. Yeah. They're all interested in the Fantastic and stuff. Sort of fishing, so. Fantastic stuff. Good to see you, Jimmy. Thanks very much, George. And have great a great day. You Thanks too. a lot. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. See you, Aoife. Right, folks. 
joined by another leading personality in the fishing game, Henry Gilby. How are you, Henry? Yeah, no, very good, thank you. What are you doing here today? I am demonstrating. I'm doing a talk on photography. I'm demonstrating lure fishing and just basically talking fishing all day, which I love. Sounds like something I'd like to hear. What, what aspects of fishing are you talking about specifically? I'm, look, I'm a bass fishing junkie. Right. I, I lost my soul to bass fishing, <laughs> lure fishing a long time ago, and right. it just gets worse. Look, I can actually, I spoke to my brother yesterday. He said, come on, how many hours did you talk about fishing yesterday? Yeah. And I said, 12, a solid 12 hours fishing. So, and would still do more if you got the opportunity? Oh, jeez, I'll talk about it all day long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all day, every day. It just gets worse. It's you know a what passion. It's, yeah, you know what it's like. Of course yeah. I do, yeah. yeah. There's nothing like it. So great. Thanks for joining me, Henry. And it's a pleasure. Have a great day. And you have a really good one. Thanks a lot. Nice one. Bye. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. I'm on Fly Tires Row, and there's at least 20 Fly Tires, including myself. And I'm joined here by John, John Maduro. Maduro, yeah. How are you, John? Good. You enjoying good. the show? Uh, very much. Good very to much. see you. Yes. And uh, what are you tying? Well, I am tying mostly um, saltwater patterns for bass and sea trout on okay. the coast and Pollock. So I'm based in Cork, so it's all salt water a lot there. We have plenty of coastline there. You don't sound like a Cork man, John. No, I'm originally from the Caribbean, Aruba. It's a Aruba? Dutch, it's a Dutch island. In Wagwan. The Caribbean. Yes, Wagwan. <laughs> <laughs> All that kind of stuff. Yes. You're enjoying the show, yeah? Oh, very much, very much. It's Getting a good response good to your flies and that? Yes, yes. Great and, stuff. Um, a lot of followers that came over, you know, and to say hello and all that. And it's Great. good to finally meet them and everything. And right. No, it's very nice. I really enjoyed it. And Excellent. Yeah, Thanks and very much, John. Share the flies and everything. Yeah. Appreciate Thank you taking you. the time. Thanks a lot. Thanks a million. Thank you. <laughs> Melvin Wood, people. He's here tying flies all Ooh. the way from Yorkshire, is it? All the way from Yorkshire, yeah. And what kind of flies are you tying, Melvin? I tie lock flies. I, I tie most kinds of flies. Pike flies, classic salmon flies, salmon flies. But my passion is for... Lock flies. Irish lock flies. Irish lock flies in Irish colours. Well, you've got a fantastic array here. They're absolutely beautiful people. I don't know whether you can see these on camera, but these are top rate flies. Anyone who's Thank fishing, you very much. Anyone who's fishing the locks should seriously consider contacting Melbourne here for flies. And uh, how's the show been for you? Do you, have you enjoyed it? I enjoy all shows, but this right. one particularly right. it has been really good. Being it's a first-time event, it's going really well, isn't it? Oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Could, have, could have been more people through, I think. But yeah, but it's a first-time event. It's the first time event. Yeah. yeah. yeah but I just love being in Ireland and yeah. talking to Irish There's people. There's no place like Ireland. There isn't. Yeah. I have no affinity to Ireland, but whenever I come to Ireland, I never want to go home. You feel like you're at home here. I feel like I'm at home. Yeah. That's a common thing with people from other countries when they come here. They say that yeah, they feel like they're more at home here than any place else. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? What is the magic? I, I think. Well, I honestly think it's the people. Right. Yeah. I made the big mistake once. I was fishing on um, Loch Arrow. Yeah. And I went into the petrol station with my fishing cap on, full of flies. Aye. And it took me 20 minutes to get to pay, <laughs> and then 20 minutes back out. There. Talking to people. Yeah, which is wonderful. Yeah, about fishing. Yeah, about fishing and about everything. Great. Because they want to know about you as well, don't they? <laughs> of course they do. Just about the fishes. You got a great Yorkshire accent, I have to say. Oh well, that's. Hey, by gum, lad. <laughs> Good to see you, Melvin. Right. Okay. Thanks very much for taking you. the time Thank to talk to me. No problem. George Burdess is this guy's name. I only met him for the first time yesterday, and he wouldn't even provide me a chair to do the interview. How are you getting on, George? Good yourself. Good. You're a recent uh, import to Tipperary, I believe. Yes. Where yes. are you from originally? I'm from Galway. From right. Galway now. So. How do you like it in Tipperary? Great weather. Did you have to get a passport to move to Tipperary? Don't think so. No, no, no. They just let me sneak across the border now. So. Good, good, good. You're an illegal immigrant, are you? An illegal alien. We won't, we won't speak about that. So How do you like the fishing in Tipperary, George? It's great. It's great so far. I uh, managed to get out more so this year than I have last year. So it's right. been a bit more difficult because uh, the water conditions are kind of up and down at the moment. So, yeah. But uh, for the most part, it's going quite good now. So very unpredictable. Like at present with the water levels as you're saying the weather is very dodgy and yeah it's up and down so at yeah. the moment i think it's just dropping but we got fresh water yesterday so i think i uh, might get a cast out tomorrow lovely um after the show great so. stuff thanks george no worries appreciate you taking the time to talk to me thanks a lot thank you another fly tire here folks pat quigley where are you from pat hey kenny uh look at me pat <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you tying a damsel blue flash um a damsel um, 
woolly bugger brown. Right, these are still water flies, obviously. Uh, for rainbows out in the lake. All yeah. these flies here are for Ned's Lake. Right, specifically for Ned's Lake. Yeah, specifically. Yeah. Ned's Lake, by the way, folks, is the Ardair Springs fishery here. It's known locally as Ned's Lake, is that right? That's basically... <laughs> He has a fancy name on it, but we put Ned's Lake on it. <laughs> that sounds great. That, that sounds better. You've got some nice summer flies here, here too, the, Pat. They're the, the, the single, uh, single hook hair wing shrimp patterns. Lovely. Done in different styles for different waters and Very stuff nice. like, like that, you know. Very nice. So um, at the moment, I'm, I want to get a couple of these for the blue, for the damsels that will be hatching in another right. month's time. Okay. And the blue right. in, um, flash and green Yeah, on yeah. Them. And that will represent those flies right. there. And do you, um, do, you, do you fish here a lot? I fish here six times a month. Really? You're a regular so? Regular so, yeah. I've never fished here. I'm fishing here um, since it opened. Right, very good. I'm the longest customer here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And how, how long ago did it open, can you remember? About 10 years ago. Right. And I mean, it's really successful in the area, isn't it? It's an unbelievable lake to fish. Yeah. Um, some fine browns, fine rainbows. Yeah. And excellent for young lads to learn. Of course. And girls and boys and people who never turn a rod right because river fishing for some people can be yeah daunting from the beginning yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but here you might catch a small lad yeah and, oh jesus that's yeah, and it gets get, you hooked it gets them in on it yeah it gets them hooked and yeah. the amount of people that started here and, and uh, then went on to be successful and, on rivers and stuff and yeah. a month later to come down to ned i want to buy a complete outfit yeah 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 they get into it yeah it's fantastic uh, so it's a very yeah. it's a great place to learn and yeah. achieve things great and it's a hobby for life as of course it is absolutely hobby for life all right, thanks very much yeah. for taking the time to talk to me. Not a problem. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right. Well, yet again, another fly tire. Darius Simkus here. How are How you, Darius? Darius? Oh, you keeping good? Yeah, yeah. You're tying mad? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you tying here? Um, tying mostly nymphs, uh, dries and two wets. Yeah, river nymphs. River nymphs, yeah. Right. Uh, spiders. I like fishing spiders and small olives and sedges. These are Darius's nymphs and a few dries on her as well. Beautifully tied. Top class work, I have to say. Um, mm. How's the fishing been so far? Uh, it was good, yeah. A uh, couple of weeks ago, I was fishing in the shore. It was very good fishing on the nymphs. The fish still in the winter layers, like they're not in the fast water yeah. at the moment. Yeah. I'd say another one or two weeks, and the mm. flies are hatching, and we're going to yeah. get them on the dries. And they really switch on then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not originally from. Not Ireland, from Darius. Ireland, no. Where no, are you from, but, Darius? Um, I originally from Lithuania. Right. How long have you been living uh, in Ireland? 19 years. And you fell in love with you, you, Did you fish in Lithuania no, before? No, no, no. You only took it up when you came here. Yeah. yeah. You came to the right place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love. I love. I tried it once and I just hooked up. Yeah. And can't stop now. Yeah. I'm doing it's competitions. Like a, it's like it's an addiction. Oh, exactly, yeah. How do you, you fish the competitions yes, also? Yeah. Excellent. Right. Thanks very much for joining oh, no me, Darius. Problem. Thanks for the interview. Enjoy the rest of the show. Same to you. Cheers. Okay, folks, uh, joined here by Seb. Ban Valley Flies. Where's Ban Valley? Ban Valley, we're based in Tyrone. In Tyrone? Outside Dungana, yes. Right. Yes. And how's yep. the show been for you so far? The show's been fantastic, yeah, it's been great. It's a good turnout, a great venue. Lovely. Um, be, the bit of benefit of being able to go out and try flies and go out on the lake right good. beside, the, right beside the, the marquee here, it's fantastic. You've got a fantastic array of hackles here and your flies are selling like hotcakes here. Yeah, they certainly yeah. are, yeah. You've got some yeah, lovely colours here. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we put a lot of effort into it. We've, um, you can see that. We've split the, the, the hackles down into you know size yes. as well as colour. Lovely. Um, we've got a range of flies there. It's hard to beat the old grizzle. Yeah, I would say good. that I probably use 60% grizzle in, in would, all the flies. I would say for dry flies, yeah, yeah. yeah grizzle. I'm just looking at these colours here. Look at that, folks. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Did you dye, do you dye these yourself? Those are, no, those are done by whiting in America. Oh, so, by whiting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. fantastic colours, lovely stuff. And uh, the show has been good to you. Good show, good yeah. show, yeah, good uh, turnout, good, great area. Yeah, let's hope it continues, complete. we have it as an annual event. Yeah, I can't see great. why not. Might definitely. see here again next year. I'd say so, All right. yeah. All right. Good to talk to you, good thanks to for taking you. the time to talk to me. All Thank right, you. see you Thank later. You. Right, folks, I'm here on the Blackwater Fly Fishing Stand with... Jason Cochran. Jason Cochran, good to see you, Jason. Yeah, How's the show going for you? Yeah, it's very good, it's been excellent. Yeah? Absolutely excellent. Sales you know, are good? Sales are good, but it's 
more importantly, it's great to see anglers back again. Of course it is, to see Absolutely. the crowd, and, and particularly to see the young people. I'm exactly. surprised at the amount of young people we have here. Oh yeah, but look, look the event is absolutely perfect, or should I say, the area is yeah. absolutely perfect, the venue yeah. is perfect, mm. so no, it's fantastic. And how's fishing going down on the Blackwater? It's good, yeah, 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 it's as good yeah. as, yeah, yeah. So you're salmon in? Yeah, there's plenty of fish being caught this year. That's so great. Is, yeah, yeah. What's um, the trout fishing like currently? Trout fishing is fantastic on the Blackwater. Good. It's good. something, uh, it's a place that's always nearly overlooked for trout fishing. It is, in fact, yeah, yeah, a lot of people have said that to me, yeah. But, uh, like the biggest trout we had last year, now was five and a half pounds. That's a good fish by any standard. Exactly, and like yeah. a, a wild Blackwater brownie. Lovely. Five and a half pounds. Yeah, you can't, uh, yeah. You can't refuse something You're like that. You're not going to refuse it. Like, we have a lot of half pound, pound trout. Of course, yeah, what's wrong with them? But they're fantastic fighting fish. Yeah, so absolutely, yeah. It'd be great to see more anglers out there. Yeah, I, in fact, I haven't fished the Blackwater, well, I fished the Blackwater, a couple of times, but many years ago. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But I never. What's dry fly fishing like on the black? Dry fly fishing can be very good. Yeah, yeah. it can yeah. be very, very good. You mm. know, like we have Peter Driver up there quite quite often. We do master classes with Peter on the black water. Excellent. So that's an event that people should yeah. definitely take advantage of. Mm. Uh, no, it's fantastic, and he does the dry fly fishing on a dry drop or all of that. Yeah. So, yeah. No, it's fantastic. All the coaching. Exactly. exactly. There you go, folks. So if you want to, if you want to do a little fishing on the black water yeah. Jason here is the man to contact and he'll arrange all what we spoke about so Perfect. thanks Jason for thank joining you very me much. Thank you. appreciate it yeah. and sure. enjoy the rest of the show will do thank, thank you, you. alright take care myself right folks yet another fly tire believe it or not this is Arthur Greenwood from the great county down and uh, how are you enjoying the show Arthur it's been absolutely brilliant we've been working with kids and beginners all day yesterday and we're doing some missionary work here to get people involved Lovely. in fly tying and fly casting and it's great to see young kids getting involved. Yes. Um, we're tying very simple patterns with them like spiders and stuff Aye. like that and uh, they, they're, some of them actually take them down to the lake and catch fish. Oh, that's so fantastic. Brilliant. Try their first fly and catch a fish I in know, one day. I know. Isn't I say great? to them, look, there's a money back guarantee on this. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been tying flies after? I've been tying flies for 40 years. Right, lovely. Uh, starting to get the hang of it. Oh yeah, you like myself somewhat. <laughs> I've been tying around about maybe even a bit longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's man. always something new to learn. Absolutely, isn't absolutely. And there's so much stuff available and, now. Yeah, and what we do in App Guy Ireland here is um, we're the professional angling instructors group for all of Ireland. So uh -huh. uh, we have members from Cork to Donegal and everywhere in between. Lovely. And we work with clubs and we work with inland fisheries, we work with the department in the north. Uh, we do game fairs, game shows, all the rest of it. And just we have the flag for, for fly fishing and um, I think we're reasonably successful at what we do. So uh, it's very enjoyable. Thanks very much, Art. Very good to meet You're you. You're very welcome. And uh, enjoy the rest of the show. I will, of course. Get a few more kids. Right, folks. Another fly tire here. Joe Stitt. How are you getting on, Joe? Hey, very well. Thank good you. to see nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. Uh, Where are you from? County Ottawa. I'm Carrick Fergus. Carrick Fergus. You came down a long ways. We came down a long way. <laughs> and uh, took us about four hours. Did it? Long Come drive? Down. Yeah, long drive. And, and then you're going to tie flies for the day? We're going to tie flies. We tied yesterday and um, we'll do more today. Lovely. Um, mostly kids. Great. The kids were good crack. There was yeah. three boys came all day long. They kept coming back. Great. So we must have helped them in some way. <laughs> but they were good fun. It's enjoyable helping the, the course it is. into it. You know. And then it gives them a lifetime of of enjoyment. I've been fishing from us at school. Aye. And it has given me sort of a lifetime of enjoyment, as I say. It's really Great. hard to beat. Very well done, Joe, and you're an inspiration to those kids. Good oh, man. Oh, well, I like to be, and uh, and and I hope that they'll probably all be better than me as fishermen. Well, that's but, the ultimate but, aim, isn't it? But they'll not be any, they'll not enjoy it any better. <laughs> Good man, Joe. Go on. Now, folks, I'm joined here by Louise Fitzgerald from the Irish Ladies Fly Fishing Association. Tell us about the Irish Ladies Fly Fishing Association. Hello, George, and lovely to be here. Good. Um, the Irish Ladies Fly Fishing Association was established in, by a lady called Anne Geary up in Connemara. Mm -hmm. She lived outside Foxford in Mayo, and she established it way back. It's, it's 32 years ago since she established it. Right. Now, in that period of time, it has evolved and changed. They have, they have um, they've had 30 years of competition for a match, an international match, between England, Scotland, Wales, 
and Ireland, and it's an all Ireland association, Great. which includes so, North and South. Excellent. And tell me, um, how many ladies? Do you have you figures? Are there many ladies involved, say nationally? Nationally, it has fluctuated. We've had a, a small. It, the association had a small membership for quite a period of time, which isn't always ideal mm -hmm. so we really like to get more ladies in right because if you're only swimming in the same pond and the same Course. pool yeah. you don't actually get really an awful lot of yeah. competition yeah. at that level mm. the ladies who fish for the international matches are very good mm -hmm. but it's we could always do with more yeah. because there are so many younger people coming on right. and that's this year the object of the exercise is to encourage yes. young ladies novice anglers young middle senior and we don't care at which level you're coming in <laughs> because we are going to support you brilliant and have you had a good response to your stand here at the show excellent there. We've had a, we've had a, some new members who have joined. Mm -hmm. We have a superb raffle, and the prizes, which have been in the majority, <laughs> brought by Julie McGeever, for, who originates from Foxford right. in Mayo, the home of the originator. Right, very good. And in through that method, we have we've got some fantastic prizes, particularly days for two on the Moy River mm -hmm. with. With accommodation oh, and excellent. dinner included. Excellent, everything thrown in. Every, <laughs> including the kitchen sink. <laughs> great, well thanks very much for taking the time to talk to me and uh, great success with your association in the future, hopefully. And great success to you for yeah. taking the trouble to come and visit us and yeah. to come to this show and yeah. to promote angling yeah. to the wider public. Thank you very much indeed, Louise. Good to, good to talk to you, thank you. I'm very... This is the Rogers Fish and Tackle stand here at the Irish Spring Angling Show and I just run into an old friend of mine. Dahi! Come on to the Nyarka, we'll take a ma, hello. Ma ha fair. How are you getting on in the show? Do you like it? Very, very good, very enjoyable. Right, you brought you brought the boss with you, I see. Davy, say hello to George. Alright Davy. We'll take a ma. Ma ha boche. Ma ha boche. So he's you're enjoying out, the show? He's going out to catch his first trout in a minute. With Fantastic. That's the whole, Great stuff, that's gonna, what it's all about. And then we're going to bring him up to play his first fly. Good. Like what, uh, but do you know what you do? Bring him to catch his first, try his first fly first, and then bring that fly down and that's a great catch idea. a fish. That's a great idea. Wouldn't it? Yeah. That'll certainly get him hooked. Absolutely. Good to see you, Dahi. August, 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 show. Did? August, two fan. Two fan, that's it, two fan. Yeah. <laughs> right. joined here by one of Ireland's better known Fly fishing personalities, the great Dave Donovan. How are you getting on, Dave? Hello, George, how are you doing? You enjoying the show? Yeah, it's great, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I'm only just in, so I haven't seen everything yet, but yeah, uh, yeah I have a lot of travelling to do now. My hands are empty, I must get a bag now and stop picking up a few, <laughs> few, um, few items. You recently won a competition, I believe. Yeah, I was lucky yesterday when the. Not luck, really, you're really no, honest. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I know a bit of luck, you need a good draw. Of course you do, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What competition was it? The Munster Masters, it's the over 50s, I just qualified. You're not over 50, Dave. <laughs> <yet. Are you? laughs> yeah, no, I qualified a few years ago, but yesterday it was the inaugural one in Munster. Of, um, just Normally they pick the results from the Munster Championships, but mm -hmm. they held a, a true Munster Master qualifier yesterday. Right. So, yeah, so I was lucky enough to win. Jim Russell was second and Sean Matter was third. So it was great, it was, you know, it was great. So. Another gong under your belt, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've won a few now, Dave. Yeah, I've been, look, again, I've been lucky though through the years. You need good yeah. draws. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. not all about luck, though. Yeah, look, you make your luck all right. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I like to practice, so, and I'm lucky I practice a lot. Well done, Dave. So, Congratulations. Thanks, so. thanks Thank for you. joining me. Not a Take a few words. You're good man, thanks. Great. That's good. Now this, folks, is a, a salmon tube fly being tied here by Sean Deeney. Sean, what are the advantages of a tube fly over a standard fly, or is there? Well, you can fish them in uh, different rivers when, when they're catching a leash. You can, you can fish a, a barbed single or a double or a treble on the, the tails. So right. They, they give you a, a box of tubes you can fish anywhere. Where, where doubles, you can only fish on a river that's allowed doubles or right. so, you know, singles. So other, other than the hooks, is there an advantage in the fly? Well, it depends. You can add more with them as well, too. I'm going to be putting a cone head on this now, so it'll give it an extra bit. So they start fishing straight away instead of right. being 
swear about a third before the, you know. Before they the, actually fish, I they understand, they yeah. In, yeah. Know, so. Good stuff, Sean. No bother. Thanks very much for that. No bother, George. My good friend Rink here, right? Originally from the Netherlands. Netherlands. What did they? What's the other name? Holland. 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 And there's another name as well, isn't there? No. 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 Oh. The country of the bollocks. But <laughs> we <won't go> there. <laughs> and Rink just won a beautiful reel here yep. at the Irish Spring Angling Fair, ready to right. salmon fly reel, is it? Salmon reel, yeah. Some yeah. people have all the luck. Uh, yeah, absolutely. If you're not in, you can't win. <laughs> hey, well said. <laughs> Cheers, Rink. Thanks very much. Now, folks, yet another fly tire. There's any amount of them here, I might as well tell you. This is Rich Odlum, and he's from County Wexford, isn't it? That's right, yeah. You're tying salmon flies. Yeah. Um, Where do you fish mainly? Uh, the Slaney, the Blackwater, and uh, the Norm mostly. Right. And tell, wasn't the Slaney stopped for salmon fishing for quite a time? Yeah, we're on catch and release now for the last good few years. Well, that's we, good anyway. We, we stopped we stopped fishing for four or five years or longer even. Maybe. Why? And, what was um, the problem? Why was it stopped? Uh, just the runs had disappeared. Um, right. And for, it was closed just to try and get it back up and running. And, and have things improved? They have, yeah. The last couple of years have been slightly better. So That's good, good. You're tying some very really nice flies here. We're, we're, we're tying a few, uh, few secrets and letting the secrets out. You're letting, uh, everyone's letting their secrets out here. That's what I noticed <laughs> with fly tires. See you later, Rink. There goes my Dutch friend who won that lovely reel. Um, anyway, um, the Slaney, and where else did you say you fish the black water? The black water in the north. Yeah. The black water, that's the black water, the cork black water. Yeah. And do you have much success in the black water? Uh, yeah, I've had a good few. The uh, last couple of years have been reasonably good, yeah. Right. And, uh, and um, it's, uh, it's another river that seems to be improving the whole time. Yeah, it is, now. in fact. Yeah. How did you enjoy the show here? What did you think? I think the show is brilliant. Um, I think the last, uh, today now especially, has been a good bit busier. And, yeah. And uh, I think once people saw it on social media, it's, yeah, yeah. it's taken off. And I'd, I'd say next year it'll be bigger again. I think it will, yeah. And uh, there's great credit due to the organisers, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Ned has done a great job. And Absolutely. Yeah. He deserves a dram tonight now. <laughs> right, thanks very much, Rich. Appreciate okay. your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good to meet you. You name it, it's here for fly tires. <laughs> Meet Philippa Hake. Um, Philippa, you're here representing... Uh, Semperfly Fly Tying. Semperfly Fly Tying. And yep. what does Semperfly Fly Tying supply to everybody? So they do synthetic fly tying materials like um, dubbins, uh -huh. um, made in threads and all sorts of stuff really. Anything that you need to basically tie any fly, they, right. they've got you covered pretty much. Exactly. Now, I, I, in fact, I've been using some of your um, threads. Uh, yes. It's really strong stuff. I can't remember the name of it off the top. Nano silk, yeah. I really like it, but it's a little slippery. That's it the only is, thing I would say um, against it, but um, it's really, really good. I really yeah. like it because it's so fine. Yeah. Yeah. The colours, there's a huge range of colours, I suppose. It's, uh, yeah, so I've got, um, I've been using the yellow. Yeah. So, uh, nano silk today on li little, these little plume tips. Yeah, they're um, lovely. Because it gives you a flat, a flat body as well. Yeah. Instead of like normal fly tying thread, you get a flat, a flat base. Yes. And when yes. you're wrapping quills, it makes it look. Right. It's just nicer to, to work. Very good. With. They're really nicely tied. Yeah. I just show these to the camera. These are beautiful flies. Something that I would fish myself. Um. They're absolutely stunning little flies. Thank beautiful. You. And I love the sizes yeah. because most people actually fish too big. You probably are aware of that, being yeah. that you tie these little flies because. Yeah. They're more representative of a natural insect as yeah. opposed to what you'd buy in a. I like to um, I like to tie them with slim bodies as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and as well, just keep it simple. Keep it like people that's have, that's like, my motto. Keep yeah, it simple. People with, rock up with like loads and loads of fly yeah. boxes for like a day's fishing. I yeah. just take, this is literally my box that I take. Fishing You're much with. like myself. When I go to the <laughs> river, I might have twenty flies in yeah, the box. Yeah. That would be it. Yeah. Anyway, Philip, uh, very nice speaking to you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. And uh, check out the channel. My channel is yep. Gun Dog and Fly, and uh, there's a whole lot of stuff pertaining cool. to what we were just talking about. Nice Thanks very much. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Here again with Ned, folks, and uh, I would say, Ned, to call it a success, a success would be somewhat of an understatement. Yeah, it sure looks fantastic. Everyone is loving it, and 
you know, to, to, we had a great crowd both days and lots of great competitions in the whole work. So, yeah, yeah. happy days. And do you think you're going to be continuing next Onwards year? Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. I'm really sure. looking forward to next year already. Absolutely. I, yeah, we've already had some stands booking for next year. Brilliant. Yeah. I, for one, have been to many, many events, fly fishing events and fishing events all over the place. And this is probably the one I enjoyed the most. That's great to hear. That's Absolutely great. fantastic two yeah. days and uh, the, the crowds have been yeah. brilliant and the Fabulous. kids yeah. uh, the, the emphasis here was to try to promote and bring more people into the sport and I think you've achieved that with uh, yeah, any yeah. doubt All the crack the kids out there, there was just fabulous absolutely fantastic and well Ned onwards it. and upwards and many many congratulations on such a successful thanks weekend. very much John. thank you Ned thanks right folks just back from the Irish Spring Angling Fair what a day and what a weekend. Absolutely fantastic event for a first time event. Great to meet all those people and um, I hope you enjoyed the video with all the interviews with all the different people and uh, just all over a very, very positive and rewarding weekend. Um, I'm just getting all my stuff, packing it back out and getting ready to replenish the fly supply again. So once again, Thanks very much for joining me at Gundog and Fly. I hope if you enjoyed the video that you might consider liking and subscribing. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description to my Patreon page where any contribution would be um, gratefully accepted and thankfully acknowledged. So once again, folks, go to Mila Mahagui as for Kholoider, Agas Gadiga Kasper Arakele Arushmoid, Slan Tamo.